Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Leo has announced a brand new set that I know a lot of Leo Star Wars enthusiasts are already waiting for for a very long time. I'm of course talking about the buildable C3PO which is set 75398. Now let's at first have a look at the exact details of the set. It has a price point of $139.99 in the US and €139.99 in Europe. Our friends over in the UK can add the set to them collection for a price of £124.99. The set contains a total of 1138 pieces and will be available from the 1st of August of this year. Now for this video I've looked at the official LEGO announced pictures and I watched a couple of videos from fellow YouTubers that already have the set in hand and I have to say that I'm very very enthusiastic about it. The pearl gold color that LEGO used seems like an excellent choice and also the design of the face with the eyes looks very nicely done. When we take a closer look at the C-3PO figure we can see that there are some printed bricks to be found on the torso but LEGO also used some stickers for the hands and the stomach area. The arms of C-3PO are movable and the same also goes for the head which means that you are able to slightly change the pose of this character to how you like it the most. Now obviously this set also comes with the by now very well known and formation plague which also includes some space to put the C-3PO minifigure on that is of course also included in this set. Besides this you are also able to find the special 25th anniversary brick in it which of course is always a nice addition. Now something very important to mention here is that the C-3PO minifigure that you can find in this set is not an exclusive minifigure. I'm pretty sure a lot of LEGO Star Wars enthusiasts immediately know the status figure is the exact same one as the one that's also to be found in set 75341 which is the Luke Skywalker's Landspeeder. If you've invested in this set or if you are planning on doing so then obviously this is definitely something that you will have to keep in mind. This having said, if you are a fan of C-3PO and you're not really into the Landspeeder, then you have the chance now with this buildable C-3PO set to add this minifigure to your collection for a price of $140 or Euros instead of $100 or Euros more, which is the price for which the Landspeeder is going. Now overall I think that the brand new C-3PO set is looking absolutely amazing and I will definitely add one to my own collection. Besides the set obviously just being announced, I will also keep a very close eye on it as an investment for the future. How investable the set will actually turn out to be will of course also be depending on the shelf life it will eventually have, but that speaks for itself. Now with the announcement of this brand new buildable C-3PO figure, I feel like we also have to take a closer look to the Chewbacca set which is set 75371. This set has been released on the market in September of 2023 and is actually set to retire by the end of 2024. Now a lot of things have been said already about this set and then especially about the facial expression that it has. Now overall the expectation for this set is not being a good investment mainly because of the somewhat funny looking face but I am not sure if I totally agree with that. On its own I can imagine Chewbacca not being the best investment because there are definitely some negative points to address. First of all I've heard several other builders and collectors mention that the building experience isn't really that fantastic. Besides that the minifigure included in the set is also not by any means special or exclusive. It's just a basic figure that we've also seen in several other sets and will probably see even a lot more in future sets. Now I kind of feel like this is a little bit of a missed opportunity. A more exclusive minifigure could have definitely given the set some extra appeal. Now just as the C-3PO and also the R2-D2 set you can find a special information plaque in the set which is also offering some space to put a Chewbacca minifigure next to it. Now I've mentioned these other sets I think it's reasonable to say that these other two very good looking figures could definitely help to drive the demand for the Chewbacca set. Also overall I think the Chewbacca isn't looking that bad. If you are able to look past the funky face which is not easy I know, the rest of the figure actually is looking quite well. If you display him together with the C-3PO and the R2-D2 I think you will have a very nice looking display which is something that a lot of LEGO Star Wars fans will absolutely enjoy. As you've probably noticed in this video I am an absolute fan of the C-3PO and the R2-D2 sets. At first I wasn't that enthusiastic about the Chewbacca set, for sure not as an investment, but with the release of these other two sets I actually am changing my mind a bit. As we all know by now a lot of Star Wars and LEGO collectors are absolute completionists and I can absolutely see a lot of collectors wanting to complete the full set so they can display the different figures altogether. 
Now, I am not saying that you should invest in the Chewbacca set. Obviously, nothing in this video should be considered as financial or investment advice. But if you are considering it, then it would be very wise to also keep in mind the existence of these other two sets. That's because of the very simple fact that I do think that they could help increase the demand for the Chewbacca set past retirement significantly. This brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoy this type of content, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for a lot more Lego collecting and investing related content. Now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.